<laughs> my dad comes and tells us one of the holidays, he comes and tells us there's this new concept which has come out. And what's that new concept uh, or new new field? Because remember he was a water engineer. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to go back to school to study um, computer science. What? Yes. In 91? It was glorified. In our time, going to boarding school was the eight. Yeah. Staying in the in the day school was not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And also, if you if you wanted to edge um, your chances of doing well, yes, the, the boarding school was the eight. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's check into what's its name again? Saint Ursula. Saint Ursula. Yeah. It it you said it's it's run it's Catholic at the time it was run by nuns. I don't mm -hmm. think it's run by nuns right now. Okay. So um, I checked into Saint Ursula. To help you understand St. Ursula, it's like living in Limuru. They're cold. Because <laughs> it's at the foot of... Mount Kenya. Yes, it's at the foot of Mount Kenya, yeah. really. But St. Ursula was good. Um, I loved my time in St. Ursula because I went in, I was actually a strong student. Class was, four is when you get in? No, I got into in, class, class five. five. Okay. Yes, so okay. in 1990, when okay. I, was, I was doing the interviews in class four, uh -huh. when I was 89, I but get then it. For, to get into class five okay. in 1990. Yes, because it starts in January. Yes. Okay. So 1990 is when I check into, into um, St. Ursula. It was actually a good, it, it was good because I was, I, was, I, I, I went in, we are, we are young at the time. You're mm. coming to be... Yeah, I, I, I was a good student. Mm. Class five, I was fine. Class six, I was fine. Um, I, I've just remembered, we had a teacher then who came. You know the, the um, East Nyeri Embu Meru issue of R Riri. There is this teacher. In fact, I forget, Rory, Rory, Rory. I forget his name. Uh, maybe my classmates, my former classmates from St. Ursula, and you see this, you'll remind me. He came, he was from Nyanza. Uh -huh. So he's, a, he's come as an English teacher. He was so frustrated <laughs> because most of us, <laughs> we are from Mount Kenya. <laughs> so, so we are saying Lula. <laughs> The Lula. <laughs> you, know, you know, he went and bought a ruler for himself. And then he said, but then he really helped my life and many of us. <laughs> then he would place the small, you know, the, the micro set, the set. Yes, yes. It's called the mathematics yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. That's small. He geometrical set. Geometrical set. So that it has a shorter ruler. The 15, uh -huh. whatever one. Yeah. So he would... The first lesson he would do, he would tell us, remove your uh, geosets, get your ruler out. And then he said, I want you to place it on your tongue. And I want you to say, rula, rula. Because <laughs> it helps. It yes, helps it me. does. That I've never forgotten. <laughs> yes, and I think that's when class six or class seven. <laughs> no, he must really, he must have been so frustrated. Like, what's up with these guys? <laughs> He must have been uh, so frustrated, but, but, but that helped. Yeah. That that helped, and why? Because now I'll be a saying Lula. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So that, what, yeah. What's that environment like? It's more sp so specifically the Catholicness of the school. Oh, I was born a Catholic. I was. I was. My family is my family is still Catholic. Oh, yeah. So uh, it was okay for me, as in it was the doctrine that to which I practiced. Oh, well, then that's the other reason also I chose Saint Ursula, because it was Catholic. The other two Saint Peters and um, Kamuda that were, I think, PCA or something mm. based. It was a Protestant based. Um, okay, so this culture yeah. you used to it. Rosemary, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rosemary, <laughs> Rosary, <laughs> Rosary. <laughs> I, need the, I need the ruler. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> the Rosary and everything. I was fine. I was, I was. I was okay. I was actually, I was very involved um, in church and in, in serving and the, and I had gone through the full baptism, first Holy Communion, confirmation. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I grew up Catholic. So I was, I was right at home. Okay. I was right at okay. home. The, the cold was a lot though. The reason I said being in St. Ursula is, was like being in Limuru. It was a very cold place. And sometimes 
the fingers, the sausage. I don't know if you've had sausage fingers because of cold. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we would have sausage fingers. And that's when I learned how to wear leg warmers. So we would wear, yeah, yeah. leg warmers and the... I don't know what you call them, pushuris. Yeah. Ones. Yeah, those uh, the kofias yes. that come uh, with only your eyes and whatever I left. But it was cold. Wow. It, it was cold, yeah. I was I, I understand the cold because I was in Nyeri mm -hmm. and we wore shorts. Ah. So yeah. I, I get that. Like if I, you've said legomas, I'm like, hey, eh, yeah. those are things I haven't thought of in a long time. So but yeah. what's what's school environment like? What's friends like? What's mm. what's the education like? What's now school like for you? Um, so it was also, it was interesting. So now... the Because mom and dad are not here. No, they are not. Uh -huh. They are not. Uh, actually, let me start at class five. Remember, I have lived with my mother as her baby. So she used to do for me most of the things. And she had kept... I used to have this lovely long hair. And I have gone with open hair <laughs> in class five. They come for visiting day. Those days it was not half term. It was visiting day, mid at somewhere in the midst, yes. um, they would come for a Saturday with all the food. And, mm -hmm. and she sees me like this. She's like, what happened to your hair? I'm like, mom, I got tired of combing it. So it, you know how, uh, yeah, how it gets wet. And then because it's at the foot of Mount Kenya, so it's always raining. So it's been rained on. So I just left it. I left it and I was like, I am not doing this hair thing anymore. <laughs> so that was hard. Um, and, and also... Taking care of myself was hard because mm. I, I, there was so much help in the house. I never used to do a lot of um, house chores. And I get it from my mom's perspective, which has helped me do it differently for my children. My mom came from real poverty. She, she as in from mad house to all of that. Mm. She was the first one to go to school in her family. Mm. So for her to be able to provide for me a soft life was important. Mm. And she did that. Um, and that's what she had nurtured me on until then. So, so even washing sheets, because now you have to change sheets, you have to wash it, you mm. have to wash your clothes. My shirts, which are supposed to be white, by the time I'm done, they're not white because I have my scratch. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's, it's hard. Mm. And Richie, because I went now the year nine, the year I turned 10, um, which is 1990, I was still a bedwetter. Mm. Whoa. And so now I had bedwetting to a person who doesn't know how to take care of themselves. Mm. So it was sort of hard from that perspective. Mm -hmm. But the kids were kind. The, most of the kids were That's kind. That's so good to hear that. Yeah. In fact, I thought that was now going to become a traumatic thing. No, no, no. Most of the children, at, at least class five, class six, most of the children were, were up to when I think of that, they were good. Um, then class seven is when... No, and then the other thing with that, it was also another place where there was cosmopolitan bit. So now other kids came from other towns and also mm -hmm. from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So then I started to see, oh, Embu is not it. Aha, you get so I, I started get to it. understand Embu is not it. Mm -hmm. There's another place called Nairobi. <laughs> and and <laughs> yes. And so because we tell the stories and I'll listen in amazement and all mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, or even on visiting day when they come and the parents are coming. At the time not many I don't think it was easy to own a car. Mm. Uh, it wasn't as easy. Mm. Um, and so the parents who came with cars were not that many. So the few who did, we we would, we recognize and we saw. And we're like, okay, so this Nairobi thing is good, people. It's easy to own a car here and there. Because the cars we had access in Embu, most of them were the government cars. Yes. Because our parents were working for government cars, uh -huh. for gov for go in government offices. And so they, we would then, but then the people owning, the, now this KAAs, you're seeing it for real. <laughs> Yeah. The trauma of KA. <laughs> I know, yeah. The okay. trauma of KA, yeah. But that sounds like it was a really good school. You it know, was. You know you're talking about it and I'm just like, okay. It was, it was. Yeah. I actually enjoyed my time in, in St. Ursula. Um, in class 7, though there's one incident I remember, and this is where now you start, and, and that was, I guess, because class 7 I was now, that was 2012. Oh, no, wait, before we moved to class 7. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so class six was wait, 20, 20, 90. 90, I think I'm 20. You see? <laughs> so we are in 90 when I'm 10, 91 when I'm 11, that's class six, uh, 92 when I'm in class seven, when I'm 12. Mm -hmm. So 91, <laughs> my dad comes and tells us one of the holidays, he comes and tells us there's this new concept which has come out. And what's that new concept uh, or new new field? Because remember, he was a water engineer. Yeah. He's like, 
I am going to go back to school to study um, computer science. What? Yes. In 91? Mm. Man. So, yes. So actually, 90, when I was, when I was going to boating, he, when he tells us when he says he'll go in 91. What? Yes. Uh -huh. So, and then, because he's, he's in government, they get study, mm. study leave. And we're like, oh, great. So he tells us the vision. Because I remember, he was like, it's this thing. It's the modern thing. It's, I get it. We will be fine. Uh, I'll go and work with the UN. We will be able to do a lot more. <clears throat> and me, of course, now, you know, I understand what the UN is. Because in school, Myra, Myra Teddy, um, the father used to work for UNICEF, I believe. Mm. And so I, would, I knew what an, an NGO would be. Because we would talk in, we'd sit in stories and we'd understand. But the children are just children. Because at the age of 10, 11, and we were purity, just... Yeah? There's a purity. Yes. So we'd just sit and talk stories. And they, they would walk us through. As in, these Nairobi kids would just help us understand. And yeah. And so I understood what the UN is. And I understood the UN all that opportunity. So when my dad said he's going to do computer science, and then I think I'm even the one who asked him, so does that mean you can also get a job in, at the UN? In Nairobi. <laughs> and in Nairobi. Then he said, yes, actually, that can happen. So let me go study. So we were all excited. We were happy that he, he was deciding to do that. So he did. Um, we were in Embu at the time. And um, then shortly... After, because now she's on study leave, I think mm. he's getting half the pay. So my mother is the one maintaining, she's the one carrying most oh, of the, of the no. whatever. And we are in town. We were straining. So what did they decide? As the parents, we are going to move up country to Meru. That's why we take a break right there. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> what? Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> 